Okay, we got Ricardo versus Bush Tush this time for OEPL. Got the Nihiligo for the Volcarona. The potential Volcarona, I didn't bring one. He brought one versus Padlop in OST. The single tech something that I built a few weeks ago, besides that I didn't have a Lari. And I had a Reuniclus, I think, and what else was different? I think it was pretty much the same besides that. I don't know if I had a Tangrowth, but I know I had a Reuniclus over the Lari. But yeah, we see a lot of Muggle Lord, that's some heat. So Landris is the only rock up besides Nihiligo, so unless he Scarf rocks Nihiligo. It has to be rocks Landris and... The Magic might go for High Jump Kick Bridge in the Scissor here. The Ice Punch is kinda obvious. Does he go for High Jump Kick? He does not, he plays safe, it's turn 1. We don't have to make he plays turn 1 he says, okay. And Scissor... Still takes a lot from high jump kick even if it mega evolves, even if with intimidate. I think it still does like 50 something. So he can either mega evolve in U turn, or he can try to pivot back. And he can try to pivot into Ladi or something, but I think he's just gonna go for U turn. Yeah, yeah. So we will see if it's a Rocky Helmet. Hel Landorus is not. So it's either. Leftovers or Yachi or Zimu. I mean, I don't think this has to be Bloom trying on this team because he has a Tangos which pretty much deals with Tabofini fine. But he doesn't have hazard control, so Tabofini can get annoying if Tangos gets run out with spikes and rocks up. So maybe it is Bloom Doom, not 100% sure. But yeah, brought in his own landers, he's probably... Okay, I started with HPIs, he goes for SD. But yeah, depending on if this is Jolly Landris... It is Jolly Landris and Element Medicine, so... That was really well prepped, I guess. Bringing Jolly Landris to outspeed Hoopa. Outspeed uh, Lele, I think. At least Modest Lele. Outspeed, Ad outspeed Element Medicine. Outspeed, I think, Zygarde. Didn't check EVs, what? You mean nature, yeah. Oh yeah, that's huge for Ricardo. <laughs> that's what I meant, okay. So yeah, this Tangrowth. Might get blown away by Zemo here, yeah. I don't know if it's Sky Strike. It is Sky Strike, so this Landro set is just putting in the work for Ricardo. I thought it would be Continental Crush. <laughs> So this Landers might will obviously have HPI if he brings it in. But yeah, Ricardo's already up six and four. This is gonna be a quick game. Ricardo can either go get a big damage on this with a fly, or he can go hard scissor on the HPIs. He can even go Tangrove. He got some options here. This Landers is pretty nice to keep for the muck. I mean, it lives 1 HP eyes anyway, but it's nice to keep healthy. But yeah, Bushush goes for SD on the fly, so they're both... Ooh, it's not HP eyes, so it's probably Zemo's Landers too. And I assume we're gonna see the Sky... Uh, this Continental Crush here, exactly. Continental Crush blows away the Landers. So Ricardo Jolly Lando, I think this is Adamant. Yeah, that flight it flipped on. I don't know why he said 81, what the fuck. Did he think it should do less or more? I mean, it's a stab fly. And it was plus one, so I'm kind of surprised that... I thought it might even do 85 or 90. But yeah, power gem... Only tw <laughs> That's decent damage. I said only at first, but that's decent damage if it's AV mark, 29. Yeah, and Hilgo gets pursued, it can't get poisoned because it's a poison type, obviously, and... 
So it's all it's gonna go for U turn here, I assume. Yup. And you can go to uh Zygarde or Tangrel or Scarflady, but Scarflady not really the play because there's a muck, unless he wants to double out predicting the muck. Goes Tangrels, can go for knock off of Quake or HP Ice here depending on what he wants to predict. Or else Quick would hit Muck and Heatran. Knockoff would just be a neutral play to get rid of an item. Like Landris already wasted his item, so I guess Pushtush can just sack the Lando here to get a free switch into something. It's life of Coco, that's odd. Don't really see that too often. It decides to sack the Landris. As that dies even at two minus one knockoff. And they're just gonna go for Magma Storm, I assume. Oh, he can also go for rocks since the lander was SD. Both landers were SD, so. Ricardo didn't show the last move, I think, on his lander. He only showed fly, SD, and earthquake, if I recall correctly. So it could still be rocks, so then he'll go. I don't know 100% if it's got rocks and he'll go yet. Mm -mm -mm. I know NJMP uh, uses sometimes. Sometimes he uses Scarf and he'll go out Scarf Gajam with rocks. I don't know if he helps Ricardo build for this. I know Ricardo also built sometimes, but I think he's busy with his job, so probably didn't build that much himself. But it's Fire Blast, so that makes me think it's Scarf Tran. So yeah, looking at the team, um, that makes a lot of sense that he needs a Scarf, but Scarf Tran is not the fastest mon in the world. Like, and it's not really a Volcarona check either, because they run either HP ground or they get paired with Duck Trio. So that's interesting. But it's a good Metagross answer for sure. Metagross is still allowed. Like, Metagross most of the time don't expect Heatran to go for Scar Fire Blast. And they can try to go for Earthquake, get blown away by Fire Blast. So, like, it's a pretty nice way to check Metagross. Let's say it that way. It's not a counter, you cannot switch in on Hammer Armor Earthquake. But he doubled up predicting the Muck there into Zygarde. And this works out anyway because Zygarde eats up Fire Blast. Picks off the Heatran and he can go Tapu Koko and potentially go for HP Ice or Dazzling Gleam to pick this off. Um, Ricardo can keep this to kill the Muck and he can go. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, yeah. He can just go Tangros or Sack something. Like, he can Sack his Ladi. Ladi doesn't do much this game. Like, it could be Scarf Ladi, but as long as the Muck is there, Ladi doesn't do anything. And Ricardo has this game in the back anyway. So it is Brave Bird, which is interesting. So a lot of recoil. Um, like just in general, if you would attack Venusaur or Mungus with this, you would take so much recall. We see it's not Scarf Nihiligo, so that's interesting. Was it Sash? Was it? Was it Spex? I don't think it was Spex Nihiligo. Yeah, Brave but only did 58. Considering this is probably AV Tank, that didn't do that much. But yeah, he's just gonna like sack something. Tango's gonna get to it KO'd and then he can go Zygarde, click Southern Arrows and pick up the 3-0 victory for his team. And the score should be... I think his team was in the back before this game. He went for E-Speed there. Flexing on it. Flexing on the on the Shadow Sneak, potentially. Trying to prioritize that. Uh, that didn't really matter at that point, I think. But yeah, that was fine, I guess. Or maybe playing around the potential... Now the berry isn't released yet, that gives you priority if you are 25%. I don't think it's released. I think it's called cast up. Um, but yeah, let me look at the score. Mm -hmm. I guess I won't spoiler the one, this, the other games that are not marked here in case you haven't seen them. Even though in this game I mentioned the result of this game. But yeah, the score should be, let me just calc in my head real quick. It's 2 and 1 here, but it's not updated. Ricardo won this one, so it's two and two, and these two, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, I think the NJMP is just. Um, I have the upper hand at the moment. Thank you guys for watching. It was really short, and Tony should be playing soon. And then the highlight of the day, um, at least a lot of people are hyped for that. Is uh, OST finals. I know a lot of people will be streaming that. Other PokerTubers will be uploading that, and. 
Um, I probably can't upload it today since my is really slow. My fast net decided to die, but I'm grateful that I have at least found a way to have slow internet and not be complete without internet and I would miss the game, that would suck a lot. But yeah, the last match that I'm interested in for OUPL is the Tony vs. Passion, which is also for the series. I think Tony has to... I think Tony has to win it for his team to bring so then can still tie. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting and peace out friends. Stay tuned for that more content coming. Dokuch Dokuch signing out. Bye.